Hey YouTube, it's your girl Black Cajun, and I am back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over uh, knockout designs. Uh, basically, a knockout design is when you see like letters or words, go team or something like that. Then they'll have like the picture of a football player or a cheerleader or something knocked out of the design where that part is just left blank. But you can actually see the silhouette of the design that was once there. Um, today I'm working on a t-shirt uh, for my son to wear on game day. So I'm going to do a football life t-shirt. And I've already uploaded pictures that I found on Google. Uh, two football players, a helmet, a whistle, the goal, and an actual football. So basically what I'm going to do is type out in all caps the word LIFE. Because that's the word that I want to use the, uh, the uh, knockout in. And I'm going to use the impact font. This is kind of a thick font. Uh, kind of. And then I'm going to stretch it out a little. Not a little really, actually a lot. And it's best to pull it by the corner. If you pull it, and I know you saw me pull it right here. That's just because I wanted this part wider. But when you pull it in these points, it kind of distorts it. But I am going to pull it just a little bit here. And then a little bit here. Just to get it kind of as wide as I want. Then I'm going to go here to character spacing. And I'm going to start reducing the character spacing. So that the uh, different letters get closer together. So I don't want that big of a gap in between each letter. You gotta be careful that they don't touch. So just do it a little bit at a time. Till the letters get kind of close together but don't touch. A little bit more. Okay. Alright, so I'm kind of satisfied with that. Then I'm just go through each one of these, go to the uh, trace window, and I'll trace out each one of these uh, pictures that I want to have in there. I'm going to hit on this one, remove high pass filters, so that all of it can be, all of the black space can be yellow, so it can be traced out properly. Don't need this anymore. I'll just move this over here. Let me get the football player. Once again, uncheck high pass filter. Okay, I'm doing the same thing for each one of these. But this one has to go just a little step further. Because as you can see, they had little letters or word or something down there. I need to remove that because that is not, not, I do not want that in my shirt. So I'm going to release compound path and then I'm just select that little section and delete it. Then I'm going to select everything. Wait a minute. Let me just delete this and move this out of the way. So I'm just make sure I select everything and then go back and turn it to a compound path. And just bring it down the side. Let's get this football player. Do the same thing. Get my whistle. Wet my whistle. Alright, we try to hurry up because I don't want to take up too much time. Just going over basic uh tracing. And I have, I do have a video on tracing that I'll link in the comments section. Cause I'm not gonna go over tracing in this video. Okay. Okay, I saved this one for last. It's going to do something different. 
I want to customize it. He is number 21. So, can't make a shirt for my baby boy with a number 5 on it. So, in order for me to do that, I'm going to select it, make it just a little bit bigger. Once again, go to Release Compound Path. And I'm just going to get rid of that inside. And then I'm going to turn it back into a compound path. And I'm type in 21. Uh-oh. 21. And I'm going to type the name of his team. Okay. Hold on the shift button and select this 21. And I'm going to change the font to freshman. Because it kind of, freshman kind of looks like what they make jerseys with. Like the uh, font that they normally. What? There you go. And I want to. Want to make sure it looks pretty decent. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this model selected, select the 21, and I'm gonna go here to this align window, and I'm gonna select align center to make sure it's centered, and then I'm gonna hit Control G to group it. Now I'm gonna keep that. Hold on the shift button. And Select the, the select the shirt and hit align center again to make sure that the word is dead smack in the center of the shirt. And then I'm going to group that together again. Then I can reduce the size of it. Okay, so now what I want to do is change all the colors. Even though these designs are not a little bit cut out, I'm going to change the color just to make it easier when I'm layering it on top of the word of um just turn everything red. I'm gonna turn this you know what I did not want that red. Sorry I want the word red. I want this blue. Because his colors are his is red in like a baby colonial I think it's called colonial blue. Kind of like the Oilers, the Houston Oilers from back in the day. That's the colors of the uh, team. And it's actually, yeah, it was named after, but the, the Little League team was actually named after the high school I went to. And their colors were based off of the Houston Oilers. So I'm going to start with this football player, and I'm going to select it, right click, and hit flip horizontally. So it'll also went to object, rotate, and flip horizontally. But I'm going to put it here. I want him here. And I'm just going to keep adjusting him in size till he fits just the way I want him to fit. Alright, that's what I want with him. Uh, I'm going to put you off to the side off to the side and then I'm going to size this football kind of sort of to make it look like it's going over the field though and it is good Yeah, mommy. What, Mama? I got food. Uh, I'm recording. Go get on your get on your potty. I'm sorry, y'all. She is potty training, so every moment is a mommy moment. Let me put him down some. I think he's going to put the helmet. 
And I want my whistle just a little bigger. And my jersey. I want to make the jersey a little smaller. Okay, I am satisfied with the way that's looking, but I don't want this like this with the with it blue overlays. I don't want that. I want cutouts. I mean knockouts. I'll cut out basically the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is start here and select all at the bottom. Go to the modify window, hit subtract. It'll take a little second, my computer's real. And hit group. And hit group. So now it is knocked out. And what I'm going to do now, move this down and type in football. Because I wanted to say football life. I wanted to say football life. So I'm looking for the font that I want. Ah, that was pretty. I wonder if it's too. Hmm. Would my son like this? I don't know. How about it? Uh, let's see. Hmm. The kids, this one will work better. How do you know what will work better? How do you know, Mama? Okay, so I'm going to adjust the word football to my liking and see how these letters overlap. I don't want that. I want a smooth uh, football. So I'm going to go back to the modify window, hit weld, and then I'm going to group it together. And I'll come here and change the color to like an ice blue, baby blue, to match his football colors. And then I'm just select both of them. Go to the align button, align it center to make sure it's centered, and I will group it. And there you have it, a cutout football, and ready for me to make the football life T-shirt. And I'm probably gonna put like uh, his his name in the back for Mojo number two, twenty-one, like the back of his jersey. I probably do something cute like that on the back. But this is how you do knockout or cutout designs inside of your uh, silhouette design uh, studio software. Um, it's not that hard. All you do is go on Google, find the pictures that you want, trace them out, layer them on top of the letters, or even a picture that you want. If it's a picture that you have and you have a field with color, you wanted something words knocked out of it, you can do the exact same thing. Um, I'll do a, uh, my husband keep calling, I'll do a design showing you how to do that in probably a couple of days, how to do it inside of an actual picture. Um, that is the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, please put them in the bottom in the comment section. Thank you and good night.